Hi, and welcome back to Better You. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson, and today I'm here with my co-host, Hafiz Stokes. Thank you for having me again. Well, Hafiz, looks like we have a special guest with us here with us today. And who might that be? It is Chef Jay. And Chef Jay, you're from? Chateau Noir. Chateau Noir. Yes. And so, Chef Jay, what are you going to do for us today? Today I'm going to put together a uh, really quick and simple meal for you, uh, off with a salad. Um, we have a caramelized red onion salad with baby spinach, and I'm just going to show you how to make your own vinaigrette. Okay. Um, so you can make it anytime you want, add any ingredients that you want in there. Since you cook all the time at home, they'll be easy for you. Um, and then we. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Chef Jay, so, we talked about that yes, earlier. Yes, we did. Yes, we I did. I do the three Ds. Okay. Delivery, dine-in, drive-through. Okay. Well, we'll change that. So this is going to be easy. Uh, okay. And you're going to say, I want to make this at home all the time. Okay. Then we have, uh, we're going to go into a curry and coconut poached tilapia. Huh. Um, you can use any type of fish for this. Um, poaching is really good because it really slowly cooks the food. It doesn't, it's not really high heat. Uh -huh. um, and you can add, again, all of these things are things that you can add different flavors in, uh -huh. whatever you want. See, the tilapia slice real nice. Yes, yeah, yeah I cut it in half. Um, they were pretty big sized tilapia pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I sliced them in half, so that way, you know, you can not have too much uh -huh. and go always go back for more if you want. Ah. And you'll want to go back for more. We will. And then the last item is, it's summertime. Um, we have nice strawberries, they're in season now. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna do a nice light strawberry mousse um, and that's going to finish mm. off our meal and just kind of tie everything together so we're not overly full and we're good. And this is the easiest and we want this to all come together. Okay. Um, we have baby spinach, mm -hmm. all right? And these are baby spinach leaves. You can, they're perfectly good. You can eat them that way. They're wonderful. I love spinach. We also have a vinaigrette. Now, a vinaigrette for a homemade vinaigrette is three to one. Three parts of what? Come on, you know. Tell Vinegar? Me. Oil. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. you had a 50-50 shot there. So it's <laughs> yeah. three parts oil, one part vinegar. Okay. Um, because we have this salad, and with this salad, you, you want something that's light. You want something that's refreshing. Uh -huh. You could even add, cut up some strawberries and put it in there. You can put in raspberries. Oh. You can add other flavor components to your um, vinaigrette. And the beauty of it is, if you get one of these, this uh -huh. is a mason jar. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get these anywhere. 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 Yeah. You, I've seen you've them. seen these. And you can make homemade vinaigrettes. You can make um, your own mayonnaise. You can make your own anything, dressings, uh -huh. any type of dressings you want. And it's there. Because as you know, when you utilize um, oil and vinegar or you look at like an Italian dressing or something like that, it separates. Right. So now oh, it's already okay. made. All you have to do is just grab it out of your fridge, shake it, mm. and you're ready to go. Okay. So I'm gonna let you do this part. Okay. Take that. I think I can handle that. You think you can? You wanna, this is, smell that. Tell me what that is. Vinegar. Yes. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. apple cider vinegar, okay? So does it matter what type of vinegar you, you use? Can, like I say, you can use red wine vinegar, the champagne vinegar. There are tons of different types of vinegars out there. Uh -huh. For this one, because I wanted to balance that spinach flavor, because uh -huh. you know, spinach is, is kind of a bitter right. itself, you know, if you just eat it the way it is, um, it's kind of bitter. What's gonna happen is that the vinegar mixed with the oil, mixed with the onions is gonna give it a really good oh. flavor. So just pour Let's maybe one, yeah, <laughs> one, <laughs> <I'm gonna let laughs> her. not even, not even a, uh, keep going, I'll tell you when. Up, oh, perfect, that's good. Okay. Nothing else, put that down. That's all we need. That's all we need. Now this is oil. And what and kind of oil is that? I was about to say, this is a blended oil. So it's an oil blended. It's 50% extra virgin olive oil and 50% regular oil, canola uh -huh. oil. Okay. Some people swear that, oh, you have to use all olive oil right. or something else. Sometimes it's too rich for people. They don't really want it. So you want to, here, this is all you. Okay. You going to tell me when? Yep. Keep going. You got you to put a lot in there. Nope. Tip, oh. tilt, keep it tilted that way because then it'll come out. Keep going. So I'm learning something today. You are. I am myself. So now you want you want three parts. So when that gets, and if you notice, what do you notice as you're holding that up? It's the vine. Yeah, it's exactly right. Already. It's separating already. Like the oil and vinegar. Yeah, like exactly right. So what's gonna happen is when you actually do this, you are going to, when you shake it up, 
uh -huh. it's going to bind it together. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Um, a little more. Perfect. Now you want to put your top on. Oh, this? Yep. We're not going to add anything We're else? We're not going to add anything else to this. See, the, the thing with dressings is the same thing with pizza, is the same thing with pasta. Uh -huh. You don't mm -hmm. want a whole lot of dressing on it. Mm -hmm. You want something to complement the flavors that are there. You don't want something to overpower it. So you want something real simple. Shake it up. Shake, that's shake, it. shake, shake, shake. That's it? <laughs> that's it. So that's the salad dressing. Th this, is, huh. this is your, now you could add in salt and pepper in here. Uh -huh. You can add in whatever you want in here and add more flavor components. Now, what's going to happen is you want these things to marry together. Uh -huh. You want to throw it in your refrigerator at least an hour just to kind of let it all set up. It is going to separate again, but just shake, just it, shake up. it up and you're ready to go. And if you wanted Ooh. to add other things in there, you can, like I say, if you had um, toasted walnuts you could put in Ooh. there, I mean toasted almonds you could put in there. You could put in some fruit in there, some uh -huh. raspberry, some cranberries or whatever the case may be. Um, during the holiday times, I like to make a cranberry vinaigrette for everything, you know, and you have all the leftovers so you can kind of mm -hmm. do that. So we're going to put this to the side. What's going to happen with this is we are going to put that on our salad and we're going to dress it with our caramelized red onions. Uh -huh. Now, why did I caramelize the red onions? Because now I told you I do delivery. Y yes, <laughs> you do. Drive through but what tiny just tell me what the difference between you know the difference between cooked onions and raw onions. Right. Cooked onions taste a little sweeter. That's true, yeah. They're a little better, uh -huh. you know, as far as just being able, more palatable, uh -huh. okay? So I caramelize these red onions, because red onions are really strong to begin with, uh -huh. but mm. if you smell them, they don't no, smell. you don't really have a scent. They're not, not like, strong. exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. again, the other reason I didn't add salt and pepper, I'm not a big salt fan. I'm not, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of people that are, high blood pressure and everything right. else like that. They don't like a lot of salt. I did add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. That's why I didn't add any salt and pepper here. Okay. Because everything in a meal is layering flavors and right. balancing flavors. If I put salt here, salt here, salt here, yeah. at the end much. result is gonna be too much salt. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so right now this is already <coughs> done and we're just gonna let this sit there for okay. a little bit. Like I say, our spinach. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our onions. <laughs> and put those on top. And then now the beauty of this is you don't you don't really want to use a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to you want to get those flavors mix it. And then just a little bit right over the top. Uh-huh. And if you wanted to add any other vegetables on there, sure. what, what should you add? With you can it? add some carrots in there. You can add some, um, I, I, I wouldn't some really do tomatoes. Maybe? Some peppers would be nice. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason I say I wouldn't do tomatoes is because there's acid in tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then you have acid from the vinegar. It just might be really overwhelming. But peppers are good because they're nice and sweet. Uh -huh. um, you know, I think, I think when you taste the salad, you won't, won't really need anything, anything else. else. So yeah. I, think you'll, I think you'll be good with that. So I'm going to give you two more forks. Yay. Come on, Hafiz. <laughs> Is he afraid of the salad? You're not no, like I'm not a big salad eater, but uh, this. Uh, but it's so good for your yeah, vegetables. I I, you already had your I dessert. Ate spinach. I ate spinach. I'm going to get a little bit. I'm going to dip it in a little bit because he said he. And I made the dressing. Him. Yes, you did. Mmm, <laughs> that is good. Yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get the 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 tang from the from mm -hmm. the vinegar. You're gonna get now. The other thing you could do with this. The other thing, and, and you asked that question. Um, you could add in some citrus into this. Maybe mm -hmm. some orange. Give it a little sweetness. Mm -hmm. If you like it a little sweeter, you can yeah. do that. Um, like I say, or fruit. We could have taken some of this and put it in here, Yeah. you know, oh. it, it, and it would definitely, it's all, it, this is a base. Mm -hmm. This is a base that you can utilize for whatever you need it for, mm -hmm. okay? Our, um, our poaching about tilapia. Okay. Now, like I said, we can use any fish. As you can see, I cut the tilapia in half, uh -huh. okay? It's a really nice looking fish. Um, and tilapia holds up well to a lot of different types of cooking. 
frying, um, baking, just everything. But poaching, I find, really brings a lot of flavors in there. Uh -huh. So why don't you come over? Okay, Hafiz. All right. And let's start off with the, um, the cream. Okay. Let's just pour that in there. Be careful because the pan is hot. And what kind of cream was this again? Just heavy cream. Okay. No, Any type of heavy cream. You can use light cream. You can use half and half, whatever uh -huh. you want to do. Just pour it on. Um, no, pour it right pour in. Pour it in. Okay. Yep. Here we go. It's gonna be a little sizzle. Uh, here's a little sizzle. I'm gonna take my time. Go, go closer to the pan. Ooh. Closer to the pan. Okay. Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. Pour it all in. We want pour it all. Pour it all in. Yep. There you go. Keep going. Okay. It's bubbling now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's bubbling. It's gonna, it's gonna go down. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure. See, see? Yeah, okay, Trust definitely. me I now, see. I do yeah, this I... for a living. Every now and again. You the man, you the man, <laughs> you the man with the plan. See, the pan was yeah. hot, that's why you got that yeah. initial bubble. Okay, there and we go. And then now that the now that everything is kind of cooled off and settled, uh -huh. now we sh we're gonna be good. Now, the, the one thing with poaching, like I said before, it's low heat, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, if you can see our heat, it's really low. Uh -huh. um, you don't want it to come to a boil, you don't want it to be a rolling boil, you want it to be, like these light bubbles that are around, mm -hmm. that, that's beautiful, that's perfect. Yeah. So what you're gonna do now is you are going to take your curry and you're gonna put some curry in there and you're gonna whisk it in. Not all that's of good. it, half of, half of what's in there. Just half of what's in uh -huh. here? That's okay. a lot. You yeah, don't it think seems like it. I do this for a living. Okay, I'm sorry. That's good. You that's are good. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I'm um, stirring. Just, yes, just stir, kind of like if you use if you use the side of the whisk like this, okay. then you can get it all. Get it all mixed okay. in, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm get really, nice I'm really cooking here. See, break up those little lumps. Yeah, need the little lumps in there. It's perfect. It's starting to make a nice little mixture going on here. Yes. Now kind of put your face closer to it and smell it. Go ahead. <laughs> <My face. laughs> How does it, does, do you get the curry smell? Yeah. I can smell yeah, it. You it does. can smell yeah. from here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. see? So you got the curry smell. Mm -hmm. Now you see it's starting to boil a little more, so we're just yeah. going to turn this down just a little more. And when, you know, when you're at home, you have the nice little words on the thing, medium, high, and everything else like that, mm -hmm. so it's beautiful. Okay, that's actually perfect. You did a great job. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add in our fish. So let's put in all four pieces of fish. Would Me? you like to go right ahead? Okay. <laughs> you're gonna show everyone that I can cook. Yes. So okay. in a particular just, way you lay um, it? Just so that all four of them can fit in there. So the same way they're in here, same way in there. Okay. Make room for your friend. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. Showman. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is let's just make sure that we get our fish covered nicely. Uh huh. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add in some of our coconut, coconut water. 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 Yes. You know, I've heard a lot of people talk about coconut water. It's very and tasty. It's supposed to be very good for it you. It is. That's good. Yeah. A little more, just just a little more. Perfect. Yeah, that's the way they do it on the cooking show. There you go, all, yes. <laughs> Make sure you get it all around. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, we have two options here. The uh -huh. first option is, depending upon how you like your vegetables, some people like them crunchy, some people like them soft. Um, you pretty much make the call. You know how long it's gonna take. As you can see, I've thinly sliced these, so they're not really gonna take that long, right. and they're perfectly good the way they are now. Um, they're actually sweet and good. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> what you can do is you can add it in now, uh -huh. okay? So what we'll do is you come over here. I want right. you in there too, sorry. All right. Nope, don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, now just add each one of those items in there. Okay. Your red peppers. We'll start. You can top. start any way you want. Yep. Okay. The yellow peppers, yellow they're peppers. a lot sweeter, aren't they? Yes, they are sweet. So we'll start with sweet. Mm hmm. Kind of just. Yeah, make around. sure they get all over. Good. All right. Now we do our red. The yeah. red peppers you mm -hmm. got a little kick to them, huh? Those aren't actually hot red peppers. Oh, they're not? They're mild. They're, they're bell peppers. Oh. Okay. Orange. Oh, that is Orange. Right. Got a little color scheme. You going guys in. are good. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know. And some I'm carrots. carrots. So tell me, Chef Jay, why do you think cooking has become so popular all of a sudden? You see all these shows with chefs and the real reality shows too. Yes. Why do you think it's become so popular? Um, I think it's because a lot of people, more people, instead of going out to eat, are cooking at home. Uh -huh. And they realize that, you know, if we show people that you can do these things at home or we show people how to cook, uh -huh. then you'll be easier to work, eat, eat at home. You know, you had 30 minute meals, uh -huh. you have, you know, these shows that show you how to make a meal for your family and uh -huh. everything else like that. So it's, it's really more um, a society thing. You know, ah. it's 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 just yeah. easier to see somebody on TV doing something. Uh -huh. You know, you see, we talked about Rachel Ray, uh -huh. and, you know, these other people, Paula Dean, and mm -hmm. you know, they're not they're not you know the typical chef what you would right. consider be. And you say, oh, that person's just like me, cooking mm -hmm. at home. And now a lot of people aren't going out to restaurants and spending. I know, and, as, a and as we sit here now, and I know you're the expert, and you just yeah, be physically did doing this. this. I feel like I I kind of know how somebody did what I'm doing. You do, <laughs> I, and you really do. And just as and just as we're doing it here, if you're at home, you can do the same thing. Definitely. The only thing the the only thing that makes cooking difficult is not having the ingredients that you need. Uh -huh. If you have what you need and you know how to put it together, it's real simple, real simple. Now we just want a little bit of this. We don't want all of it. These like are, a pinch? This is our onion. Yeah, a little more than a pinch. Do I dump yeah, it go in? right ahead. Make it real spicy. Good? That's a little more. A little more. Okay. That's perfect. Ah. Okay. So pretty much that is everything. Little ring molds mm -hmm. where we can make everything look nice, nice. But if you're at home, you can do it this way. You can See? This is all about being able uh -huh. to do it at home. Yes. So I'll be able to fix this at home and impress my friends. You will. <laughs> just let us May know when. Just let us know when dinner is. <laughs> okay. So we have our rice, uh -huh. and you just want to make sure it's packed in there, nice and tight, because then that way, when it comes out, it doesn't fall all over. And well, that's how they do this in the restaurant. Yes. Sort of. Well, normally we have, like I say, we have a ring mold. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that does look good. Looks it already. The plate yeah. has taken a new shape. Mm -hmm. So we take a piece of our fish. And we just want to take that, Ooh. put it like that. Now it's going to slide down a little, but that's fine. And I want some of this sauce. All right, now. Hook it up. Put that around the outside. You want some sauce on the plate. You want to make sure you get some of those peppers all over everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just how to. That looks you know, really good. No, was that hard? Dish, I too. was about to say. See, now that's that's simple and easy and something that you can do, like I say, at home. You want to get a little. Parsley for garnish. Mm -hmm. To dress it up. Put that right there. If you had chopped parsley, you could chop, have it chopped up and all around. This is like, wow. We just did this right here. Right there. Right there. Yeah. And that's ready to go. And you could make it, you know, as elaborate as you want to. If you wanted to add some asparagus on the side, you could do that. But all your vegetables and everything are right in the, um, in the, in your oh. poaching liquid. Your rice is there, mm -hmm. and you're good. I mean, that presentation, it just looks like something you wait for like an hour in a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just did it right there. But that's, that's what it's all about. You know, a lot of people think that you have to go to a restaurant to get restaurant quality food. You can do this at home. You can do this at home in a short period of time. You can do it at home and you can make it yours. You know, you can take this home, and I don't mind if you do, you can take this home <laughs> and just adapt the recipe. Add maybe some red pepper flakes. Uh -huh. Now it's yours. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Add some green pepper. Uh -huh. Now it's your dish. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not what I did, it's what you did, and it'll come out the same exact way. So the last thing, and um, you know, everybody likes their desserts. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, Sometimes we like it first. Exactly. Some people do. <laughs> some people do. What I did was I made a... Um, Mousse, okay. Uh -huh. Now mousse is just a light cream, okay. It's it's um, if you think of, all I did was take heavy cream, put it in a uh, bowl, and whisk it until it gets hard. You can use your, you can use a food processor, you can use a 
a um a uh what is it blender no no not a blender blender wouldn't be good oh um, okay of stand mixer okay oh, okay yeah okay. Oh, okay. Right. the stand mixer I don't, I don't i don't really use those i like to i was trained classical french cooking so ah. we had to do what i did was I have, um, like I said, strawberries are really um, good now. They're in season. Mm -hmm. um, what I did was I cut up some strawberries, and I put them in a, in a pot um, along with one cup of sugar. And that's it. Okay? Um, the strawberries will, if you notice, this is kind of thick. Yeah. yeah. That's pectin. Um, it, it's released from the actual, it's the liquid inside of the, the fruit. And that's what gets it thick, because that's all it's in there. I didn't use anything to thicken it or anything else like that. You put it on the stove, what'll happen is it'll start to break down and it'll get really soft. Um, once it gets soft like that, then you're ready to go. You, okay. add, you can put your sugar in beforehand or you can put it in after and let it kind of dissolve and just mix it in. If you want to really brighten up the flavor, you can add some orange juice in there. Um, I wouldn't do lemon juice. Orange juice is really good because it kind of heightens the flavor. Gotcha. Um, Did you slice up the strawberries in any particular kind of way? No, nope. just, just half, yeah. okay. and that was it. Because it, they'll break down. I mean, yeah. just if you look at the strawberries that are in here, some they were like this big. Okay. So yeah, they really they kind of break up on their own as they're okay. in there. Um, About how many how many strawberries in that bowl? This the one, whole one was pro this one. Uh huh. I I used about probably like twenty strawberries. So oh. if you get a sixteen ounce container. Shh. You'll have more than enough. Twenty strawberries. Does it look like twenty strawberries? It doesn't look like. It doesn't look like twenty strawberries. But think about it. If you ever take spinach or uh -huh. collard greens uh -huh. mm -hmm. and cook them, as soon as you yeah. cook them, they yeah. shrink down. Yeah, you Same are. thing with strawberries. Okay, yeah. You'll have the strawberries, and they'll be huge when you put mm -hmm. them in there. Yeah. But by time they cook and it releases all their juices out, because them look full grown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? People say full they're like on steroids. <laughs> um, so yeah, th they will definitely. Um, they shrink down just the same way with that spinach. If we uh -huh. would take that spinach and throw it in there, it would shrink down and it would be almost nothing. For the heavy cream, I mean for the um, whipped cream, mm -hmm. I used heavy cream and powdered sugar. And that was it. And you just whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, ah. whisk it. Or you can put it, like I say, in a stand mixer and you just let it go until it gets nice and stiff. And once you've had this, you'll... You won't want the other. Ever, ever. Here you go. This is the fun part. Yeah, this is the <laughs> Try that just by itself. Mm. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Squamches. Yeah, yeah really see? Scrumptious. So yeah. it's, it's a totally different flavor than yeah. the kind that comes in a can mm -hmm. or anything. I mean, I'm not knocking those, but if you have the time, oh, it it's really good. Same way with making mayonnaise or when you taste that dressing, you'll, you'll it's say. It's worth the time for making yeah. it. Yeah. Really, <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't even take that long. If you get um, extra heavy whipping cream, mm -hmm. it's already thick. Uh -huh. So when you put it in a bowl, you figure if you put it on um, high on your stand mixer, in about five minutes, you'll have heavy cream. Okay. Add your powdered sugar in, and then this is where the fun starts. You add your powdered sugar in, and that'll give it a little more sweetness. If you want to add in some chocolate, now you have chocolate Ooh. whipped cream. You know, you want to add in some caramel. You'll have caramel whipped I'm cream. I'm just visualizing. Uh, yes, exa exactly. <laughs> so it's all, it's all a matter of the components that you add to okay. it, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, all food is a, is a base. You know, you yeah. start off with uh -huh. a base. You know, mm -hmm. soup starts with a base. It's what you add to it Damn. that brings other right. flavors mm -hmm. to the game. So this is your base, uh -huh. okay? Now this is my base for my strawberry mousse. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we fold in the... Um, strawberries into the cream and we get those all together what I'll do I will take this and and this is real simple you can do this in a bowl but mm -hmm. since we have a plate right here I'll do it in a plate and it kind of is really uh, an easy process um, you want to put some of your cream in the middle uh -huh. okay then you want to take some of your strawberries and just put those right in there Okay, and like I say, bowl is optimal, but this is good. We want to mix it around. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's still nice and light, mm -hmm. but you got your strawberries in there and everything else. Mm -hmm. 
And and you it still looks good. It it oh it does yeah. And you could yeah. You can lick the plate. <laughs> and you and and the the thing about this is um when you're making this mousse, however much you want to mix it, if you want uh -huh. it to be swirled, you know, and you don't want to mix it that much, where you have just a little bit of strawberry in it, but you still have the white and you still have the the red, you can do that. Um, you could make it pretty much however you want to and then you get your glass once it's all mixed and you oh, want to just go that's when, oh. that's when the glass comes in. yes oh. this is the glass oh you were wondering what this was a use that for something, right? <laughs> and you put your, your moose right nice. oh man i knew that oh, was another one yeah it's just not a big deal We'll take care of that. Yes. <laughs> you know, everything isn't like it is on TV. <laughs> Where everything's perfect. This is live. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, is live. live. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then w you can use any type of um, garnish that you want. Um, I happen to love this. It's just strawberry syrup. Okay. 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 And you just take that and you go right across the top. There you go. And you take one of your strawberries. Yeah, yeah, and that's the yeah, presentation. yeah. And that's it, right there. And that's your strawberry mousse, okay? Oh, and then really simple. It, very simple. It's really simple. And you have a nice dish. You can put it in a parfait cup. You can put it in a bowl. Uh -huh. You know, if you don't feel like mixing it, you can just take, because basically you just have strawberries here. Uh -huh. So if you wanted to take the, the strawberries the way they are and just put the cream on top of it, you could do that. Um, so it's it's all up to you. And the beauty of food is that you can make it whatever you want to. If yeah. you don't you don't want the strawberries, you just want the cream. Enjoy that. If you yeah. just want the strawberries, <laughs> the presentation speaks for itself. How you added the cherry. It, it just yes. like I don't. I mean, I want to taste it, but now I want to look at it. Like man, it looks really good right there. It looks really good. <laughs> the, the presentation. Here you go. But I, but this I is am. what it's all about. I love we, are gonna <laughs> we are going to taste it. So I let you know how it tastes. <laughs> Mm. Y'all just yeah. don't know. They're good? Yeah. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> that is good and simple.